Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 11 of Takto Opening Destiny. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, October 7th. Hmm. I am so tired, and I gotta work tomorrow and Thursday. Let's hope so. Mm. Of course, it's very life threatening in a way. Freaking best girl. Like, I just want merch of her. I wonder if the game is going to come out next week. I mean, because see, I don't want them to do what freaking Lapis Relights did because Lapis Relights, you know, that anime came out last year and it took a whole. No, it took like a good three to four years to finally have that game come out. I mean, even though the game had been, you know, in its ish. And then the anime came out. And now the game is out. Oh, shit! Mm-mm. <laughs> I fucking fucked that. Between the hand thing in this show and then the boob thing in part six of JoJo Stone Ocean. Jesus! <laughs> It's blood gonna. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm getting portal vibes from this. Mm mm. That and alien vibes, too. So is he now. Oh, okay. We are getting an opening today. I thought we were just. I, I mean, it would make sense, even though, like, next week is the finale, but I, I was thinking, like, yeah, we're going right into this. This ain't getting no opening today. Like, oh, my God. So, okay, he has to be dead now. I mean, he just, like, slammed his hand on some fucking crystal, and it's just like, whoa, God. Mm -mm. Oh, Lenny and Titan. Yeah, in my opinion, he's dead. Especially with all the crystals. Like, come on. If one crystal, if you literally went right there, like that, with your damn hand, come on now. You should be dead, dead. All them crystals impaling you. There should be no way in hell he should be alive. <laughs> because of him fucking. He is dead. Ugh. I hate the fact that this show is on next week. That, and then also to the fact is this whole freaking year. So fucking quickly. Next week is freaking Christmas. What the Did the, I mean, seriously. 2021, were you on crack this year? Because I swear to God, <laughs> this whole year went by too fast. Like, oh my God. And even with the fact that I have a job, and I'm at a job for five hours, it feels slow, though. Oh. And Anna and Latte were in there. Um.
That kind of looked like him, but uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> somebody else probably said it. <laughs> She's there. If we killed the best girl, I swear to fucking God. Oh, she cute! She looked like what's her face from Kill a Kill. Oh. And I'm guessing those three are probably going to be in the game. I don't know. Mm -mm. Yeah, but you don't even know if it has crystals over there as well. I mean, I would say use the stairs, but no, that's not good for the hunter. <laughs> oh, shit. But then what about you? Titan! What ice cream? To help you, of course. Yeah, it's about anywhere I want. Uh. Shit, I just would have broke the damn window and jumped out.
kidding. You would be thinking about food right now. His child. I honestly never thought that they would meet again. Shit, I thought it would be somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You can't feel anything. I swear to God, if he dies in this next episode, I mean, it makes the most sense if he would, but, bruh, I, I don't want that. Oh. Literally gave me a damn jump scare. Shit. <laughs> And then you just wonder why she never really had a maestro to begin with. Destiny.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. So is anybody going to carry Walker today, though? Yes, he does. So even if it is a sacrifice, it's what he has to do. Fucking ship, I can't. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, but it just, in a way, even with the way you're wording this, it feels like you're saying goodbye, and we don't want that. Stop! I can't, no. Don't do this to me. Do not do this to me. <sighs> I can't do this. <laughs> Right? <laughs> oh. 
Of course. This fucking bitch. Are they going to become one or some shit? Oh. Um. Okay, never mind. Because what else would it be? Okay. Um. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so the big. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about the big thing. The big thing. Fuck you. <laughs> best girl, kids, best boy. If they don't date by the final episode, I'm so in. All I'm gonna need is a whole bunch of fan fiction starting next week. <laughs> So, but it, because it seems like, in a way, Anna, both Anna and freaking Cosetto both have had crushes on Tocto, but it feels like more, more or less Anna does. Anna, ha, Anna has more feelings for him, maybe, than Cosette. Even though Cosette was only really alive for, like, two, three episodes and ish. Maybe she did, but because of that, we'll never really truly know. But there was this acute relationship between Takdo and um, Cosetto. But since Cosetto is no longer here, technically, you know, it, it's now Destiny. And I feel like Destiny is just like, I, I, you know, I love my master, but I don't like him that way. Like, we just real good friends. All I care about is fucking food <laughs> and eating so <laughs> Because she would. But, like, oh, I mean, she... Because, okay, the thing is, best girl Anna, fucking queen, because I'm sorry, she's best girl. She's been best girl for me since episode one. Um, She she did it out of, like, just in case these two were not going to see each other again. The fact is that uh, Segan, once again, he, he, he got to be dead dead. He had been in pain. He paled himself with one damn crystal and a whole bunch of other crystals impaled him. So he is dead dead. Now that heaven and hell have, you know, formed into Orpheus, like, this is now going into final battle things. Like, th she she's final boss worthy. And we need to be OP as fuck to <laughs> beat the shit out of this bitch. Because, of course, we, like, because the funny thing was, I think this is, like, the first time when we met Heaven and Hell. And this is kind of why I wish the show had, like, a 24-episode series than a 12, because it does feel too quickly. It really, truly does. It it feels like, yeah, I understand, like, in a 12-episode, you have to give it a beginning, middle, and end very quickly. But I feel like if the show was a 24-episode show, show or how even 20 episode show, they would have gave it a little more time. It's very similar to how, like, years ago when I reacted to Darling and the Franks and how the first half of, like, the show was good as hell and then the second half was just very, very sucky. And majority of, like, the anime community and some people who are, um, who are a part of that fandom feel that way towards it because I think I haven't rewatched the show in like forever but maybe one day I might and, and just do the whole thing and then look have like a look back and be like yeah even a, as a second rewatch did I like the second half I mean because I remember like that day and I, I hope this show does not do this where <laughs> both 
fucking heedle in Zero Two died and they got reincarnated. And I what I was expecting it to be was they, they died and they stayed dead. That no matter what, they were never reincarnated. Because sometimes you don't need that and such. With this, do I think the show possibly will do that? Maybe. So if Tocto does die, will he stay dead? I, I can see that. I can really see him making the ultimate sacrifice because in a way... Um, after his father died and, you know, Lenny doing what he did and such, this is sort of his destiny. He, no matter what, was supposed to always be the one to do this. So if you know, the, uh, cannot speak, even if in the end, his ultimate sacrifice is also his destiny as well, then it makes sense. But at the same time, because of now this damn kiss, because like when she was talking to him, when best girl was talking to him, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, they're gonna kiss. Something's gonna fucking tell me they're gonna kiss. And then it just happened. I, I want him to come back. I want to see this show get a happy ending where, you know, both um, Takto and Anna are together and, you know, Cosetto slash Destiny is still on that same body. And, you know, Lottie finds a way to, you know, reverse the situation between Tato and Cosetto so that she can still be her own person and such. Or maybe doing something like my, one of my favorite movies, aka The Host, like I said a couple of weeks ago, doing some shit like that. But because of the fact is next week is the last episode, and of course it is going to be a 23-minute episode, to me it feels like there, there's a lot of unanswered questions still. And this is why I kind of wish... Usually, and I ha how I even said it last week when the first episode of Demon Slayer Season 2 came out, that I wish the last episode or every single episode was an hour long because I feel like you can get a, a lot of information out like that. With 23 minutes, sometimes 23 minutes you can't. So I feel like what they're also going to do with this series, not only with the game, because they're going to have info of this show in the game, they're probably going to do a light novel series as well. Just to kind of give it like a conclusive ending. Very similar to like um, Final Fantasy XV. And that whole dilemma of like in the end of, of what they had to do with that. And a lot of people are still pissed about it. Even though, you know, I think like just like a couple months ago they just... Uh, no, like a, a month ago they celebrated an anniversary. But... Who freaking knows? Other than that, guys, that was my reaction review towards episode 11 of Talk to Opening Destiny. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will hopefully... Hopefully, I ain't gotta go, go to work next week on Tuesday. Um, see you guys next Tuesday for the final episode. If not, I should be able to watch it by the time I get home if I have to work on Tuesday. Um, if I don't get it out Tuesday night, I will have it out for you guys, like, once, early Wednesday morning, but, of course, I ain't gonna know until, you know, when Thursday comes that I do my schedule for next week. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!